Well, the news has uh, come through that uh, it's all go for the nunnery, the IT mm. centre, the £12 million has been found. Are you happy? Mm. Well, uh, from government's point of view, this is basically a property deal. We are not involved in the ongoing management or development of the facility which is being proposed. Uh, the ICT centre is something which the Isle of Man badly needs. Um, we have uh, the ICT industry which uh, is uh, identified as being one of the growth areas for the economy in the future. It already has a substantial number of vacancies which we've not been able to fill because we don't have that uh, skill on the island. So at the ICT centre coming along now, if, if it works and if it can provide a stream of uh, better qualified uh, graduates coming into the, the, the workplace, it's got to be of, of long-term benefit to the island. We will not be directly involved in the running of it though. We, we are, this debate which government is having at the moment is whether or not the structure that's been put together uh, to run it from the nunnery is appropriate for uh, the Isle of Man to, to, to sell the, the nunnery on. The foundation is going to run it, this, this trust this sort of thing, and charitable yes. trust? That's uh, what I'm, I'm led to believe at the moment. Who have um, been uh, behind looking after the mobile library and the family library for the last three years through their deal with Pokestars, which is coming to yeah. an end there. Uh, I, I'm not sure of, of, of their involvement uh, with the... But you're worried about how it's being handled then, or are you happy with the, the way this... It's evolved. What he's saying, I can't trust yeah. what he's trying to say. It's, it's evolved, the, 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 the package that was put together and the uh, participants has evolved in the last two or three years since it was first raised with us. Uh, there's uh, some new principal investors in the operation now, which seem to make the whole thing a lot more viable than it's, it's been in the past. Um, and uh, we would hope that this would, would work. You mean you, pa you passed deadline after deadline after deadline and, and renewed yes. it and, and helped them along rather than putting it onto the open market? Yes, uh, because we believe that the Isle of Man uh, badly needs uh, a facility of this nature to uh, provide the workforce and the skill base for our future growth in, in the ICT industry. If it can work and if the, uh, the, the new principals who have taken over this operation uh, show the sale, continue to show the same level of commitment to the island, it can only do the Isle of Man good. I mean, we've had all this money spent on engineering as well recently. Yes, absolutely. Uh, I mean, there's suddenly there seems to be a lot of projects coming to fruition almost. Well, I, I think it's something like four or five million, I think, went on the engineering uh, facility. That has got to be beneficial to the economy. Engineering is a very important part of the uh, economy. Um, there are a shortage of engineers, uh, not just on the Isle of Man, but, but in the United Kingdom too. So uh, although our engineering companies are expanding and they've got uh, full order books, they are struggling to get uh, the, the talent they need to actually work in it. There's also a worry that uh, over the next few years, uh, I think quite a, a, a number of current engineers are coming to retirement, so they will have to be replaced uh, very shortly. So the engineering facility will actually be a, a big uh, contribution, I think, to the continuity of the engineering industry on the island. I suppose it's really awesome. we're, we're going this way direction, but so the, the, our super tanker, we killed the Isle of Man, the, the, the big turn and that sort of thing. How, mm. how are we doing now? Because, I mean, you know, is, is it all going the way you want? Is it tickety-boo? Are we thing? talking about the economy or yeah, well, generally? Well, I mean, you you, whatever you want. Well, the, the, the economy, economy is going well. Um, the, 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 uh, we had the figures very recently, which was 3.2% net growth, which is a very uh, comfortable figure for us. We are getting new sectors developing. The biomed industry in particular is one which is attracting a lot of interest. Uh, cryptocurrency is now uh, uh, um, employing people. There are a few new other opportunities. But alongside that, uh, th there is also um, a restructuring of banking industry. And on, uh, it's quite likely over the next year or two, we will see some downsizing in, in, in banking. So. It's a fluid situation in the economy. We have new sectors, new areas of growth, but also more mature sectors of the economy which uh, are slowing down or, or, or at least restructuring at, at this stage. Are you sleeping well at night though, I mean? Is it going the right direction as far as you're Yes, concerned? yes, I, I, I think it is. Um, Could you see this a couple of years ago, do you think? You know? Well, it's, it's pretty much on target of where we, we expect it to be uh, and hopefully we, we will get a boost as well with the UK economy now getting back into a high level of growth. The Alaman always benefits from that. So uh, with a bit of luck over the next year or two, we should see some benefit coming through uh, from that uh, angle too. So from an economy point of view, I'm, I'm quite uh, comfortable with the way. But the important thing is that we don't take our foot off the pedal. We've got to keep uh, driving forward and being aware con uh, constantly of the, the needs of the economy and that we don't do anything uh, untoward in government, which might in some respect derail it.